Welcome to Crystal Medical Life. Today I will give you 10 genius hacks to make anatomy super easy in medical school. First year of med school, most of us open our anatomy textbook and think this is impossible. Pages full of Latin words, muscles you didn't even know existed and endless now branching like Delhi traffic. But the truth is, anatomy doesn't have to be torture. It can actually be fun if you hack the way you learn. So today I will give you 10 genius hacks to make anatomy easy, fast and unforgettable. These are things I wish someone told me when I started. Hack number one, storytelling anatomy. Example, art as a love story. Artery are the reception halls, ventricles are the pumping dance floor. And the walls are the bouncers who decide who passes. Another example, cranial nose as a superhero squad. Cranial nerve 3 opens your eyes. Cranial nerve 5 gives sensation like Spider-Man waves. Sen cranial nerve 7 makes you smile. Cranial nerve 9 and 10 calms you like a monk. Like that. You imagine arteries as a main highway and side road as veins and the cables as a no. So make stories, make stories and your brain loves stories. Stories you will not forget. Second hack, 3D mental movies. So brachial plexus, uh, visualize roots become trunk dividing like a tree branches circle villi circle of villi imaging a traffic road about where arteries meet and connect so close your eyes and make a movie the nerves and vessels are not flat diagram they are moving structures if you can see them move you will never forget their order hack number three color coding everywhere in your notes always make arteries red veins blue nerves yellow in pelvis diagrams code reproductive organs in pink or purple bones in gray color so your brain loves consistent codes if your nerves are always yellow then when you recall the color you recall the structure hack number four anatomy mnemonic art Mnemonics are great, but don't stop at words. Turn them into funny art. Like example, carpal bones. Some lovers try position that they can't handle. Instead of just saying it, draw stick figures doing yoga poses for each bone. Or for eye muscles, LR6 SO4. The sillier your art, the stronger the memory. Hack number 5, peer teaching hack. What is the fastest way to learn? Teach. Take 5 minutes daily, pick a structure, say the median now and explain it to your friend. Even if your friend is a half asleep, the act of teaching forces you to organize knowledge. If you can explain it, you own. Hack number 6. Anatomy body mapping. Your own body is best at last. Take a skin shape marker. Draw dermatome on your arm. Trace the course of femoral artery on your thigh. Mark where the radial nerve runs on your friend's arm. Then taste sensation. When your body become map, you are not memorizing. You are living anatomy. Hack number 7. Virtual cadaver apps. Not everyone has 24-7 access to cadaver hall but you always have your phone use app like complete anatomy or zygote body rotate the skull peel layers zoom into pelvis trace vessels it's like carrying your own cadaver in your pocket minus the formalin smell hack number eight audio anatomy here's a underrated trick record yourself Say out loud, deltoid origin, lateral third of clavicle, acromion, spine of scapula, insurgent, deltoid tuberosity, action, abduction, 50 to 90 degree, now axillary. Now play that recording while commuting, in the gym or before sleep. Soon you will hear your voice answering for you. Hack number 9. Clinical Anchor Method 
Don't just learn dry details. Anchor every structure to clinical story. Like fracture, surgical neck of humerus. What it will lead to. Axillary no injury. What axillary no injury can do? Deltoid paralysis. Like that. Food drop is due to common peroneal nerve injury. How it happen? Just imagine. Clinically, you have to uh, imagine a clinical story behind it. Wrist drop or oh, radial nerve injury. One clinical anchor per structure and is locked in your memory forever. And last hack is flashcard petals. Use Anki or Quizlet food branches of external carotid on one side, answer on other. Challenge a friend whoever loses by chai or coffee. Exams are just bigger version of flashcard petals. Thank you for watching my video. If you are like, if you if you uh, think this is useful video, you can like this video, share this video with your friend. Thank you.